tension members. A structural member subjected to tensile force are known as tension members. This is a member where we are applying a pull on this member. So this pull is known as the tensile force and this member is subjected to tensile force. So this member is called as a tension member. We have few examples uh, of tension member in civil engineering structures. One is a horizontal tie of a roof truss, bottom cord, simple tie, suspenders of cable stayed and a suspension bridge, suspenders of building system hung from the central core, bracings used for lateral load resistance. Here are the pictures which explains all the examples and if you look at this is a roof truss and all the member is either tension member or compression member in the roof truss and here is the simple hand drawn picture of a roof truss. You may have seen this kind of roof truss in an industrial building, good old warehouse and if you look at this picture this cross member is called as a bracings. This is effective in resisting the lateral loads such as wind load and earthquake load. These lateral members are either compression member or tension member. And if you look at uh, the bridge, this is the suspension bridge. And even in cable state bridge, the cables which we use are of tension members. Here this is the suspenders, this suspender is suspended from the tower and that is a tension member and the cable which connects the deck slab and the suspender, suspension cable is also a tension member. We use various cross section for the tension member like I section, heavy I section or channel section angle section, T section, plate section, solid plate, circular solid plate and the, you can see here this is the connection. There are three members connected to the column at a single point and we have connected using a gusset plate and the three tension members are all of angle section and uh, here also you can see there are two angles connected back to back. If you look closely, here we have two angle section connected together which acts as a single tension member. As I mentioned early, single angle section, double angle section, there are three angles and each angle acts as a each tension member. And if you see here, for a single tension member, we have connected two angles together that act as a single tension member, double angle section, T section, channel section, I section, built up section. See, this is a built up section. Two angles are connected together to act as a single tension member. Use more than one rolled section to form a single rigid section. That is built up section. Circular rods, steel wire ropes as we use in a cable state bridge and a suspension bridge and if you look uh, in this picture the two angles are connected together to act as a single tension member but there are two cross sections in both the cross section the angle connected to the gusset plate is different in first one the angle connected on one side of the gusset plate angle connected back to back on one side of the gusset plate. There is no tension member on the other side of the gusset plate. If you look at the second picture, the angle connected back to back on either side of the gusset plate. So one angle is on one side of the gusset plate, other angle is on other side of the gusset plate. So there is a big difference between these two cross section in their behavior. When we solve the numerical, we will go through all the arrangements in a tension member and uh, the longitudinal section for that arrangement is given here and uh, one angle is on front side and other angle is on back side 
that is why here 2 angle section L section of 75 into 50 into 8 mm so that means one on the front and one on the back and we have the arrangement uh, 30 from uh, the end of gusset plate that is the end distance because it's on the load direction and the pitch is 60 mm we'll see all those in detail when we solve a numerical how much is the pitch and the end we have to adopt as we have seen already in the design of connections.